Hi, boys and girls. I'm here with another art lesson today. Um, hopefully it's one that most anyone can do. It requires some tracing. So um, if you have littles that have trouble with that, it's a really great skill to learn um, for little people. But trying to hold an object down and trace with the other hand can be kind of a trick. So you may have to have an older child or an adult help you with the tracing. This art lesson was inspired by a famous artist who passed away a long time ago, but his name was Vasily Kandinsky. And he painted this picture called Circles in Circles. I just love it. I love all of the circles. I love, I love the black with the bright colors. I love that he painted some areas in really solid and some are really light, almost transparent. So you can do a lot of fun things um, with what you learn about Vasily Kandinsky's work. Now this is just a little food for thought. Vasily Kandinsky was a Russian artist and he didn't start out as an abstract artist. Now abstract means that um, an artist is usually not painting a something, but is painting lines and shapes and colors and expression. And um, they do, they're doing it because it's how they choose to express themselves. And in turn, they hope, hope that it makes other people happy. Um, little known fact is that most abstract artists like Vasily Kandinsky and Pablo Picasso, I bet you've heard of him, and Vincent van Gogh, didn't start out just painting abstract art. They evolved into painting abstract art. They started out painting very realistic things like portraits and landscapes, pictures of things, and they did it very, very, very well. So they were noticed first for that. But once they became comfortable enough with themselves that they no longer felt they had to please others, they started painting what they felt in their hearts. And it usually comes out as colors and shapes and lines and just expression. So when you go to a museum, I hope you get to go sometime and you might see a Pablo Picasso that's really strange with the faces all mixed up, parts of the faces here, there, and everywhere. Um, I want you to keep in mind that that's not what Pablo Picasso always painted. In the beginning, he painted beautiful, realistic paintings of people and of things. And as he got a little bit older and a little more comfortable with himself and with his abilities and with his expression, he began to paint in an abstract manner with things all mixed up. And his paintings became a whole lot more about feelings and expression than about things. So Vasily Kandinsky is also an abstract artist who didn't start out as an abstract artist. He evolved into that. Just a little food for thought. Anyway, circles in circles. Um, what I did first for this project was I went around the house and I found all kinds of objects that were perfect circles. I needed things to trace, so you wanna make sure that the things that you pick up that are perfectly round are okay with your parents for you to trace around, okay? So I found a plastic cup. I found a little bathroom cup See how it's a perfect circle on the end? I found some jar lids. You can trace around the inside of it or the outside of it. Perfect circles. Anytime you have any kind of a jar, um, it's going to be a perfect circle. It has to be because otherwise a, a jar ring a lid wouldn't fit on it. It has to be a perfect circle. I found some Tupperware lids of different sizes. I found, I don't know, maybe an old peanut butter jar lid. If I still had the peanut butter jar, I could trace around the mouth of that as well. Uh, maybe an old cough syrup container. 
I don't know. Like I said, make sure it's okay with your parents. This probably came off of a hairspray bottle or something. Um, another, a larger size Tupperware. And then the biggest circle that I found um, is just a paper plate. So once again, let's look at Vasily Kandinsky's work. It's called Circle in Circle. And so what he did, I'm guessing, is he started with this very large circle, and then he put all of these other circles just in random places inside. Now, you notice that some of them overlapped others, and some of them are out there by themselves. You don't have to do exactly what he did. This is just an inspiration. This is just to give you an idea to start from. So I started with my paper plate, took a Sharpie pen. You can get these at Dollar General. They're really pretty cheap and um, come in very handy, but they are permanent. So you want to make sure that if you're doing this on your kitchen table that you have maybe some newspaper or something under. You don't want to mark up the furniture with these. That's, that's a really bad idea. Anyway, so I traced around this large circle. And then I traced around a few of my smaller circles and came up with something that looks like this. Now what I did here was I traced one circle and then I took a little bit larger, maybe the larger jar lid, and I traced around the outside of it. And then what I'm gonna do is color in here with my black and that's what makes these big fat thick lines around your circles. Okay, so I did that. This is just a start. Some of my circles I colored in completely. That's called a dot. A circle that's colored in is a dot. And I tried to color it in really solid here with my black so it didn't look like it was colored in. It actually looked like a dot that I had made on my, on my picture. And then I'm going to show you um, what my finished work of art looks like. I had fun with this. I made part of this circle that has two rings. There you see, I made part of it colored in black. I made some dots of different sizes that are completely colored in black. I colored in some areas really, really heavy. I pressed hard with my colored pencil. And some areas I colored in really, really lightly. I just pressed lightly with my colored pencil. So I may or may not be finished with this. I can add as many circles as I want to. Um, I realize I went kind of fast. So what I wanted to do today is just share a little bit about Vasily Kandinsky and show you how I was inspired by his artwork, what I did. And then you'll have to turn this video off and do your own circle, circle in circles, whatever Vasily and Kandinsky inspired you to do, and I would love to see your art. So if you'll send me a picture of it when you get finished, that'd be awesome. You can color it in with anything that you have. Crayons work, colored pencils work, paint would work if you had it. Um, whatever you have at home should work. So little food for thought for the parents out there. I, I, usually teach about famous artists from this series of books, which is called Getting to Know the World's Greatest Artists. And I've used these uh, for 30 years since I started teaching art. I came upon this series and I love it because they're all really simply written. They all tell something about the artist's life, usually kind of something interesting, tell a little bit about their education, um, the kind of art that they're famous for, how they got their start, what inspired them, and what made them most famous in the end. So I have a whole series of them about lots and lots of different kinds of artists, and I'll be glad to read some of them to the children. But if you want to get your own, I believe you can order them off of Amazon, just a series called Getting to Know the World's Greatest Artists. Okay. Have fun. Have a great day. Turn on a little bit of music while you're working. Enjoy the quiet. Um, it's a really nice day to just stay inside and create. So until next time, bye-bye.